The new Democratic National Committee ad featuring 10 presidential candidates urging supporters to donate to the DNC's Unity Fund is raising eyebrows for excluding Rep. Tulsi Gabbard, with less than a year until November 3, 2020, we must come together now and work towards the common goal of defeating Donald Trump and sending a Democrat to the White House, the DNC's tweet. Sharing the video states, with less than a year until November 3, 2020, we must come together now and work towards the common goal of defeating Donald Trump and sending a Democrat to the White House. Join us today, https colon slash slash t.co slash by 3hjfobk 2 pictwittercom slash 11hcr50lf, the Democrats, at the Democrats, December 23, 2019 viewers will see Senator Amy Klobuchar, Joe Biden, Senator Cory Booker, Andrew Yang, Sen. Bernie Sanders, Mike Bloomberg, Pete Buttigieg, Sen. Elizabeth Warren, Tom Steyer, and Duval Patrick make the case for why it's so important that Democrats unite around one candidate and support the DNC in its goals to win seats, from the State House to the White House, no matter who ends up on that stage as our nominee in the convention, we need the whole Democratic Party to unite if we want to take back the White House and win seats all across the country and deliver a presidency consistent with our democratic values, the Democrats take turns stating, the DNC is working hard to build a strong and capable Democratic Party, to lift Democrats to victory in 2020 from the State House to the White House. That work is incredibly important. That's why I'm proud to support the DNC's Democratic Unity Fund, and I hope you will support it as well, they continue. Gibbard is not the only Democrat running for president that is not included in the video. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Julian Castro, Sen. Michael Bennett, author Marianne Williamson and former Representative John Delaney were not featured either. But the fact that Patrick, who is polling much lower than Gibbard, was featured, makes the Hawaii Democrats' exclusion especially curious. In Morning Consult's latest survey, Gibbard received 2% support, while Patrick had 0%, so Deval Patrick gets included by a tool C. Gibbard does not. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash one icock fmvf Sagar and Jetty at a Sagar, December 23rd, 2019 Deval Patrick, come on, Fishbones, at Fishbones 2017, December 23rd, 2019 They put Deval Patrick in but not Tool C. Gibbard. Really, online nobody, at online underscore nobody, December 23rd, 2019 I'm not a Gibbard supporter but she should be in this video. No one knows who Deval Patrick is, a senior, at Yasini 844-78277, December 23, 2019 So you're excluding Tool C. Gibbard, who's polling at 5% and has qualified for multiple debates since June, from this ad, but you're including Deval Patrick, who isn't even an option on most polls and has qualified for zero debates? Pathetic. We truly need to abolish our two-party system, boho. At Bohoy's Terrible 2, December 24, 2019 Your deliberate omission of at Tool C. Gibbard speaks volumes about your promise of equal opportunity for all candidates as stated in Article 1, Sec 4 of the DNC Charter. And uh, all the candidates who participated in this obvious attempt to exclude Tool C. should be ashamed, James Souls, at East Boss Bud, December 23, 2019 Gibbard has been a vocal critic of the DNC this election cycle over its lack of transparency. She's also accused it of rigging the primary in 2016. The 2016 Democratic primary election was rigged by the DNC and their partners in the corporate media against Bernie Sanders, she said in an October statement when she was debating whether to boycott that month's debate. They are attempting to replace the roles of voters in the early states, using polling and other arbitrary methods which are not transparent are democratic, and holding so-called debates which are not debates at all but rather commercialized reality television meant to entertain, not inform or enlighten. Gibbard added. In short, the DNC and corporate media are trying to hijack the entire election process, let's block ads. Why? 